Hi, this is Vivek from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today we'll talk about the partition and partition points in Power Center. And the agenda is to understand what is a partition and partition point in Power Center and how are they different, or what is their significance in Power Center. A partition could be understood as a set of threads uh, which process the which process the ETL logic. For example, um, if you look at this mapping, it has a source qualifier, a sort of transmission, an aggregator, and a target. Now, now this can be seen as a ETL logic, uh, which has one reader, one writer, and two transmission threads. Sorry, two two transmissions. And this has one partition, which comprise one reader thread, one transformation, and one writer thread. So in short, a partition is a set of reader, transformations, and writer threads. Power Center offer a mechanism to introduce multiple partitions uh, such that same amount of data uh, is, distri is, distribu uh, is distributed across partitions and this uh, strengthens the processing power. For example, let's say we added this uh, partition point and introduced number of partitions. So that's three partitions we introduced. Now we see three across the whole uh, ETL pipeline. There would be three reader threads, three transformation and three writer threads. How this helps is all three sets of threads will execute in parallel. So let's say with one partition, uh, there are thousands, thousands, thousands rows, which uh, thousands rows going going to be read. Now, same thousand rows can be distributed across three partitions. So, so let's say 300, 300, 300 and 400. Now, each partition would be carrying a smaller amount of data. And all these partitions would be uh, running in parallel, so the execution time is would be would be considerably reduced. On the other hand, the partition point, which we can see here, is like on a particular parti partition point, we could we could add multiple partitions. A partition point could be could be understood as a boundary between two threads. So let's say if we introduce one partition point at the sort of transformation, okay, there would be three uh, more threads would be introduced uh, in this whole pipeline. So let's say earlier there were only three transformation threads. Now there will be there will be six transformation thread. First three would be carrying data from source qualifier to the sort of transformation and remaining three would be carrying data from sort of transformation to the aggregator. So the partition point is to create boundaries between threads, staging boundaries between threads. Now what we see is more number of threads are being introduced in sequence Basically, it would be an overhead for for the operating system to process more number of threads because there would be more context which would be involved. But then, it needs to be understood with another another perspective. For example, let's say there is a mapping which has a source qualifier, sort of transmission aggregator, and the target. The same as what we saw here. And there are two partitions. So let's say first partition is carrying the record, which we see in the red block, 11521. Second partition has 13254. Uh, aggregated transformation has sorted input condition enabled, let's say. So the aggregated transformation would be expecting data to be in the sorted order, right? Now let's say we, when we introduce a partition point on the sorted transformation and we make it pass through, Right, the pass-through partition point type will pass the incoming data as it is, applying the logic. So, so here the logic is like sorting the data. 
after storing the data it, it is it has been passed to the aggregated transformation so both the partitions would be acting kind of like independent ET logics now the result data would be a little different here so without the partition the expected outcome would be one two three four five however when the two partitions are there what you see is the first target is getting one two five and the second target is getting one two three four five the point is the record which belong to the same group right and they should have gone in, into the same partition now here the data integ integrity has been lost we might get the better performance but the data integ integrity is lost so so what I mean by data in integrity is without partition the the kind of result we see we should see the same result even with multiple partitions now the two points to note here one we have to control uh, the incoming data in such a way that it doesn't violate the data integrity uh, due to some transformation like aggregator and to ensure that we need some sort of logic to re redistribute the data now let's have a dif different dif different perspective if we make the partition point on the sort of transformation as auto hash what it is going to do is as soon as the data is arrived at the sort of transformation the data is going to be redistributed right so the the data which belong to the same group would be clubbed into clubbed into a single partition so so what what we see here is one 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 two two and three has been clubbed into the first partition after the partition point and then it has been passed to the aggregator now what we see here as a result is I mean the, 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 the target result is same as what we obtain without any multiple partitions so the partition point is important to ensure the data integ inter integrity because it it, uh, it 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 helps in redistributing the data across the partitions so that uh, the data integrity is maintained so in this mapping when we see when we add it at add, 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 add the partition point on the sort of transformation the partition type which has been selected is auto hash key by default if you change it to pass through it might violate the data integrity however the auto hash will ensure that the aggregator is receiving data in sorted order and it is receiving data which belong to the same group multiple partitions will not receive the same data So in, in, in short, we could summarize that the partitions, multiple partitions are there to leverage the uh, parallel processing power and it helps in improving performance. At the same time, partition points are required to maintain the data integrity. Uh, this, that is it for now. Uh, please feel free to share your feedback with us. Thank you very much.